On three. One, two, three. So the girls are being children right now and they really want ice cream. So I'm making them ice cream? This is what you do for your friends, okay? So Macy, what would we like? Uh, chocolate chips with chocolate drizzle. With and chocolate chips. Double chips. chocolate chip almond flour cookie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That's what they that's what they want me to do. So I will do it. Get up, get up, get up. Come on. Get it back. I start a business. Look at that. Wow. Restaurant quality. <laughs> he can't. He can't like bless us if we are not taking action, like moving, moving in those directions. Yeah. Like he is definitely the god of neon signs. Don't but he wrong. wants to see our faith. But he wants yeah. to see our faith first, first, and then he goes, "All right." Because Abraham was called. He he literally was given the vision by God, and then he said, "Hey, go, and I'll show you the land that you're going to go to." He didn't say, "I'll show you the land you're going to go to before you go." He said, <laughs> he said "I go. need you to go, yeah. and then I will show you." The and answer. then I'll show yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Step out in that faith, though, and we do it. We're like, "Wait, okay, so like this worked, and I can do this again." Like, no, and maybe I God don't know confirms. the full picture, but I do know that the last time I did this, the Lord showed me the full picture eventually and blessed it beyond I could imagine. Yeah. So I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Like it's always really scary the first couple times you have to step out in like big faith and be like, okay, God, I'm gonna do it. I don't even know what's happening, and but you, all I know is like you're nudging me. Yeah. When you're waiting on the Lord, how do you know the right next step to take? I, I know because I'll hear the Lord tell me to take. You it. just have a peace. That's your yeah. Peace. And like I'm just saying, you'll have a you'll have a spirit of confidence. Yeah. There was this moment where I made a decision. And I felt peace, and then I went back on it, yeah. changed my mind, and, you're and then I felt instantly felt knots in my yeah. stomach. Yeah. And I was like, "Cause you weren't supposed to do that, that. was not the way to go. Yeah. I should have fulfilled yeah. what you just told me to do yeah. instead of going back." No, it's the peace. It's the peace. Bro. It's the peace. You know, so like when we're waiting on him, do we just say, "All right, God, show me where the peace is. Like, show me what to do." I'd say, "Show me what to do," and then yeah, and then I would imagine quickly after that comes the peace, and then yeah, that's. that's you well, I would never you make a decision. Full peace, though, because yeah. you're still you're still gonna have questions. You're still gonna be like, okay, but then but then what happens when I get there? You know, like yeah, you're not yeah. gonna have the full peace, but just knowing that God's in it. Yeah. Yes. And also, it might not make any sense at all, but you have peace. I and feel like crazy. not knowing yes. all the answers isn't a lack of peace. That's what makes God's peace like that's Valid. what. The, but but when people say the peace yeah. the, the, a peace that makes no sense, yeah, it doesn't make sense because worldly peace is knowing all the answers yeah, like yeah. peace that's manufactured from the world is like being like okay so how is everything looking like let me just make sure that like all my ducks are in a row and i know exactly how the outcome is going to be like that's worldly peace yeah. but like god's peace is like actually not really knowing all the answers but all you know is you have a peace about it which doesn't make sense to the world but that's the peace of the lord like it yeah, is a peace yes. that makes no sense because you don't have all the answers all you know is god's calling you to do yes. it yes. and you have peace how is that possible? How is that possible? Only yeah. God. Yeah, only God. That's peace of the Lord. Dude, it's so true. It's so true. So sometimes it's like, I don't actually even need to know anything, God. Just give me the peace, though. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? And then he goes, yes. And I go, okay. I don't know anything. <laughs> and then you don't ask questions. You don't, have, don't have anything figured out. No, because like, honestly, to, right? you could continue to ask him questions, and then he's... Like, literally, I, there are times where I've been like, okay, God, so is this what I'm supposed to be doing? And he's like, yes. Like, it's immediate. It's like, before I'm even done with the sentence, yes. Yeah. And then I'll be like, okay, well, what about this? And he's like, wow. Yeah. And I'm like, hello? He's not saying no, but he's not saying yes. 
Yeah. He's like, can you wait? Like, I'm not, like, you're not meant to know this yet. Yeah. yeah. But you are meant to know that this is what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. So I told you yes. Yeah. Just go with that. Like, that's all you need right now. So right now I'm just booking my trip for LA in the beginning of April. And I just feel like God is going to literally move so much. So much so that I've actually been having so much trouble actually booking the flight. And I think that's because it is going to be so powerful. This trip is going to be so incredibly powerful. And I just feel like something huge is going to happen on this trip to California. I just feel like something so big is going to happen. So I'm just excited. No, I'm not kidding. So the way that I was booking my flights, like all of my flights, and then the one that was needing to be booked to LA and from LA, like I was having so much difficulty and so many like issues doing it. I'm sorry, if that is not the enemy trying to get in the way of this trip, I don't know what is. So I just rebuked in the name of Jesus and then I was fine. So that's the lesson. Hello, you guys. I am super excited to announce, not from my home, I am in Allie's house. I'm editing this video, but I had to announce that the book, The Joy of the In Between, my book, it is officially out today, as of today. It's literally launch day, March 26th. So if you have not ordered your book yet, you can get it from anywhere where books are sold. And I hope that it helps you find hope in the season that you're in, draws you closer to Jesus. It's a daily devotional to help you make the most of the season that you're in. You might be waiting on God to bring you to the next season. You might feel like you're just like living in a mundane season where like every day is the same. And you might be waiting on him to fulfill different dreams, answer different prayers in your life. Maybe you're struggling with surrender, struggling to trust him. Maybe you're struggling to give him control. Maybe you want to hear God's voice. All of that. We're going in on all of that in this devotional. So go get it from wherever books are sold. I love you guys. And I hope that you love this book. Okay, now back to the program. So I'm honestly feeling a little delulu right now because I just woke up from a 30 minute nap, which honestly y'all like I don't nap. I don't nap. But I just thought I'd just tell you the state of today. So it is book launch week. We are seven days away from this book being in the world. And when I tell you, I legit I feel the Lord just being like, sit at my feet. Sit at my feet. And my flesh is like, work, strive, go, post, like all of this, right? And Abba has just been like, sit at my feet. Like, give me the victory. Like, give me, give this to me. Surrender this to me. Um. And y'all know, like, one of my dreams has always been to be a New York Times bestseller. And I think I've been working the last, like, five years for that. Four years. Not officially five. I've been working, like, the last four years for that. But I just, actually, maybe five years. I just feel the Lord is like, listen, Ash, like, I got you. Like, I got you. And it doesn't matter whether or not you're a bestseller. Doesn't matter. Whether one person gets the book or thousands of people get it. He's just giving, he's just bringing me back to his feet, you guys. Like taking me away from being a Martha, like doing things for him. And then bringing me back to just like spending time with him, like Mary. And just like looking at him and being like, wow, Jesus, like I really can trust you. Like I really can trust you with everything. 
So, hence why I took a nap today during book launch week. I'm wearing sweats. And you know what? No matter what happens with this book, he's going to get glory because I this week I've just kind of been I've just been giving it to him. He's going to get glory. God is going to get glory no matter what happens. <sighs> Praise God. Okay, so what are we doing right now? We are going to go get gas and groceries really quick to make dinner because we have a movie premiere to go to tonight. And I'm going with Allie, Ash, Macy, uh, and it's gonna be just like super fun. It's for Karen Kingsbury's movie, Someone Like You. So I'll be like filming a little bit for that. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just taking this weekend, I'm just taking this week to celebrate like, no matter what happens, God is good. I'm gonna be okay. And if one person is helped or if thousands of people are helped, all that matters is that I'm is that I'm looking to Jesus and I'm trusting him with this, you guys. This is what trust is. And I'm just soaking it soaking it in. I'm celebrating the hard work over the last four years, like everything I I did to get to this point with the Lord and I just think it should be a really great time for reflection and just like, yeah, just focusing on him. I just cried, if you can't tell. <laughs> I literally cried because I just looked at Allie and I said, I literally love you. And I don't know what came over me, but like tears, like legit, like they, they like went on my jeans. She's just so special. Like, you know when you had that friend where you're like, what would I literally do without you? Well, so that's like, how I feel about Ashley. She's the grace of God in my life. God really blessed me with you. I'm crying. <laughs> you really did. Like, when you have friends sent from heaven, yeah. you hold on. <laughs> you hold on. You hold on. Because they don't come often. Yeah. They're really rare. Yeah. Ashley might be my first heaven sent friend. Probably. <laughs> I think so. That's my theory right now. <laughs> yeah. I think so too, actually. Yeah. I think I'm pretty great. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I just cried. Bye. Hi. Are we even surprised? Now we pops in. <laughs> We're at the airport. We're picking up a friend, picking up Cam. We're gonna vlog today. We feel like Ali said she felt from the Lord, from Abba, that it was gonna be a good day. He told me that. So only the, the end of this vlog will be able to tell. He Stay doesn't, tuned. He doesn't lie. Right, he... I haven't seen them since January. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Wait, act like you guys are talking. <laughs> oh my gosh, Allie, you just What were we saying about surrender really quick? Let's just say it 30 seconds. Like, what were you saying about surrender? The moment that we surrender, this is important for the vlog. We've been talking about this a lot with the girls, the 13 year olds. I think the moment that we surrender, the moment that you truly surrender to Christ, is the moment that everything in your life does change. Like, the joy that you have coming when you do start to fully surrender is literally second to none. Yeah. So surrender sooner the next time. So, so yeah. The Lord can bless you one yes. day. Yes. Like, if it took you two weeks to surrender, like, last time, do it in 10 days. Years. How about or three 10 years. years. Or your whole life. Surrender in, the, in that minute so he can bless you sooner. How do you surrender? What do you, what do, you do to surrender? I get on my knees and I pray to the Lord and I say, God, I cannot take this anymore. I literally, I'm like, I'm not strong enough. I'm so weak compared to you. The literal best parts of me are the worst parts of you guys. I really feel the Holy Spirit right now. And I pray to you. When I think admitting to it, you can surrender out of your own strength at all. Like, if you're going to surrender, it's for the strength of the Lord. So you can't surrender on your own. So that's why it's good to literally just get on your knees and ask Jesus. 
process and say, I need to surrender this, help me surrender. Because you can't do it on your own. Like, you can't surrender anything in your own strength. That's why you're still sitting with it, you know? That's why we have Jesus. That's why you Because we're not because strong enough to do it ourselves. And I experience. Hallelujah, amen. <laughs>
with Sweet Toby ever again. And it just feels like the end of a season. The book's coming out literally like in a couple days. And sometimes I'm really struggling with the fact that like I thought by now that I would be creating this book, launching this book in the world and have a husband and have a ring on my finger. I thought God would have me write about waiting on his timing and then like in the promise I would be sharing about the book because you start writing a book like two years ago, right? But the Lord has kept me single for five years. Five years! And I'm like, what is going on? So I think I'm just really struggling to just trust the Lord right now, to be honest. And I know he has a good plan and I like, I know his plan is perfect, but like right now, just none of it, none of it makes sense at all. So that's just me being real. Well, I'm obsessed with my outfit. Sorry. I'm obsessed with her. Outside view, I think today has been very successful because of all of you who came today to support my lovely daughter, Kenzie. Um, well, first of all, I was saying this day is extremely humbling because I can't believe that I have this much love in my life and this much support going into marriage. And rejoice with good things he puts in your life. That's what we're doing right now. That's what we're doing! Oh my gosh! Smile! <laughs> 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 <laughs>